Hi everyone, my name is Corey Lacino. I'm a developer advocate on the Ads Developer Relations team. Our goal today is to take a look at the query validator on our developer's site to plug in a query, see whether or not this query is valid, see whether or not uh, there are any errors, and it's going to allow us to open that query back up in the uh, interactive query builder if we want to continue with it. Let's just go ahead and try some examples together and see if we can solve them on our own. I'm going to paste in a query here. So select campaign ID, campaign name, segments.slot, segments.hour, and metrics.clicks from campaign. Do you think this is valid? All right, let's validate it and find out. It is invalid. Now the reason is that segments.hour is not compatible with segments.slot. So depending on which of these values we feel is more important to report on for this use case, and then potentially try to uh, create a, a second query for the other pieces of information and aggregate it on the, on, on, uh, the application side, um, we just need to figure out which one of these to remove. So in this scenario, I'm going to remove segments.slot. And I'm going to validate again, and we're going to see now that this is a valid query. Okay, let's try another one. I'm going to paste in another query. So this one is select adgroup.id, metrics.clicks, segments.conversionaction from adgroup, and this time we're ordering by campaign.advertising channel type. Now, why doesn't this one work? Let's validate it and see. We're going to see that there's two reasons. Segments.conversionaction is not compatible with metrics.clicks. So, same thing that we just saw before, we can choose to get rid of one of those, and then that portion of the uh, invalidation list here at the bottom is going to go away. But also, we're going to see that the uh, campaign attribute that we added here in the order by uh, is causing an error. And the reason is, like we had discussed earlier, if any attribute of a resource is in the order by, at least one attribute of that resource needs to be in the select. And this is for only attribute resources. So campaign is an attribute resource of ad group. We're ordering by campaign.advertising channel type. Therefore, at least one of the campaign attributes needs to exist within the select. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of uh, metrics.clicks. We decided we don't want that. In its place, I'm going to put in campaign.id. Now we're adding any attribute of campaign to the select clause, so this should clear up the issue with the order by clause. And it does. The issue is now resolved. There are no fields in the select that don't play well with the segments in the select or in the query in general. And the uh, attribute resource used in the order by, now at least one of its attributes exists within the select. All right, and the last one that we're going to do here uh, so select adgroup.id and metrics.clicks from adgroup where metrics.clicks is not equal to 1, 2, or 3. So what do you think is wrong about this one? If you're yelling at your screen that the operator is wrong, you are correct. So uh, the 1, 2, 3 uh, format here that you're seeing is only used with the in or not in operators. So if we wanted to say where metrics.clicks is not equal to one and metrics.click is not equal to two and metrics.clicks is not equal to three, that would work. Or we can just change this to not in. Now validating that is going to work. This is now the correct operator for this type of data value. And that's it. That's everything. You're now on your path to becoming a uh, reporting guru for the Google Ads API. I just want to quickly recap that everything that I've gone over here in terms of the tools available are accessible on our developer pages and they're there for you for uh, all resources, they're there for you for all queries. You can go ahead and use them for discoverability, for validation, for building out individual reports. Also the Google Ads field service is part of our API. If you can hit our API, you can hit that service. So feel free to consume the data from the Google Ads field service for dynamically building queries, dynamically validating your queries, building out a reporting platform for your users. Uh, this is all available for you. Uh, and as always, you can reach out to us for support. Thank you very much for your time.